C.Y. O'Connor by Esme Kent. Illustrations by Kelly Williams with pen and ink by Derek Kent. Brought to you by Love Amore Publishing. The long grey pipe weaves its dusty way from a city to the outback, 600 kilometres away. Pumping fresh, clean water through the bush and sand, bringing civilization to a dry desert land. It was John Forrest and C.Y. O'Connor who first thought of the idea of transporting water from Mundaring Weir. Yet people shook their heads, saying it's bound to be a flop. Pipes need joints and rivets. They will rust and rot. 31 plans were drawn from them chosen three. Blueprints of a scheme to build a pipe to Kalgoorlie. O'Connor, the driving force, knew it could be done with the help of a colleague, Methan Ferguson. They invented a locking bar, pressure squeezed and fused, more reliable than riveted pipes, which previously were used. Then 28 foot length cylinders were firmly clamped together, making watertight compartments as protection from the weather. Work began in April in 1898, cutting through the bush at a slow and steady rate. Then came delays and frustrations many. We can't afford it, cried the politicians. We won't give another penny. C.Y. O'Connor became a target. The crowd were an angry mob. They didn't think he could do this extraordinary job. They thought and raged against him. It would make any faint heart quail. Yet O'Connor quietly worked on, convinced he wouldn't fail. This vast project took five years to complete until rivers of pure water flowed to the bottom of Hannon Street. Bright lights played on fountains, reservoirs were lit up and a blackened billy can was used as the first cup. Temperatures were high, over 42 degrees in the shade. It didn't bother anyone because history had been made. Celebrations went wild. The people had a roaring time as sprinklers were turned on everywhere from that famous grey pipeline. A modern city flourished at the end of that dusty pipe. People came in droves of each and every type. Tons more gold was mined out of the rich red earth. Now the luxury of water had given the town new birth. So gold brought the water and water brought the green. New grass and flowers grew where hard baked soil had been. Colorful parks and gardens emerged from the landscape bare as tall trees by the score were planted everywhere. Unhappily O'Connor never lived to see the fruits of his efforts that transformed Kalgoorlie. Just a short time earlier, he died by his own hand, the man whose dream brought water to a dry desert land. Thank you for listening along to this story of C.Y. O'Connor and his amazing engineering accomplishment. This story is written by Esme Kent and was first released in 1989, and it has been our pleasure to bring it to you again now as an audio book for you to listen to and enjoy. Artist Kelly Williams provided the wonderful colour illustrations you see throughout this book. Thank you, Kelly. And Derek Kemp provided the wonderful pen and ink illustrations for the original 1989 release. Thank you, Derek.